Hello beautiful people, what's going on? Today we're going to be looking at the house of Thierry Mugler. Yes, and I say Thierry Mugler because this fragrance is from that era. It's not from current Mugler uh, era. So we're going to be looking at a flanker from this very popular, one of the best fragrances I ever sniffed. Uh, this is Thierry Mugler Angel for women. A beautiful star. My juice got getting a little bit darker in there. Uh, initially it used to be blue, so I have been having this for a long time. So we will be looking at one of the flankers of this perfume. <clears throat> it's going to be the leather version of this exact same perfume of Angel. So I'll let you know a lot of information today. So if the review turns out to be a little bit long, please bear with me. Um, so uh, Thierry Mugler, hands down, one of my favorite fragrance house of all time. Designer niche, whatever. This is not a niche house, but if you combine even like, just give me a general house that you know you love for fragrances. Mugler definitely has to be there. It's you, If you see my Mugler collection, I collected most of them for men's side. Uh, Angel Man uh, and then also like <coughs> Mugler Cologne. So a lot of flankers in between. But uh, what I love about Angel, let me talk about this one first, is that this is very sweet, intense, deep, sort of a complex, sweet perfume. Very, very strong. It's a classic. Women love wearing this back in the time. I'm pretty sure you guys know this perfume. And I did review Angel Muse, and then I did review Alien, some of their more popular perfumes. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, what's, what's great about that uh, particular discontinued leather version? So leather version, let me tell you, I think 2012 or 2008, I forgot which year, they actually released, uh, decided to release uh, both Angel and Amen line. Uh, they wanted to do like a leather version. They also did for Alien and Omanity, uh, fantastic perfumes, but uh, the Angel was the reason <clears throat> they released Amen. These two are kind of like connected. This one came first, then they released Angel Man. And I also happen to have the leather version of Angel Man. This is, uh, I cannot say the word properly, it's Kears, Kier, <laughs> somewhere in between. It's like uh, C-U-I-R, that's for French for leather. So that's the leather version. Check out my review on that. So I like that a lot. That is very, very dark and different kind of a leather perfume. Let's see how the leather version of Angel works. Before that, just let me update you on one thing. Uh, Nishan Sultan Vetiver, I wore it last evening, like uh, for dinner date. This perfume went for three to four sprays. This fragrance is a beast. It projects and fills up the whole ballroom, okay? Everybody was looking at me, and I was even looking at me like, who's wearing that cologne? So this is a masterpiece, guys. Just confirming with you, Sultan Vetiver, I love it. Amazing perfume, a little bit challenging and a little bit more grown up but lovely and the thing is just for the review sake i am wearing lemon line after a long time by mancera on my two side of my neck i crave for lemon this lemon a uh, bit bitter lemon uh, for cold weather sometimes so let's hit the review i have it sprayed on the paper i can smell it i'll talk about it but let's show you the presentation thanks avik bhai first of all sorry i didn't mention thanks avik bhai for this bottle very hard to find 30 ml bottles they come in this is how the box looks and a smaller that's where the back you see the picture of the bottle very beautiful and it says Thierry Mugler <clears throat> a lot of information both sides not gonna read out all that and it says uh, less perfumes de queer de queer I, I cannot say the fragrance of leather basically it's a leather version of Angel Thierry Mugler as you can see instead of Mugler and this is 30 ml to mention it's EDP, EDP concentration and when you open it, <coughs> it it's inside the bottle stays like that it's very nice <coughs> Sorry about the got a little bit cold going. And also you get these two kind of cards and stuff, you know. Uh, invitation circle and stuff. If you fill it up back in the time, you used to get like something free product and stuff like that. The highlight of the presentation is this bottle. Just check out that bottle, guys. You know, these bottles are just something else. I think uh, this is supposed to be a very unique shape bottle. That's where the cap is. And this is, says Angel Thierry Mugle. Cap is nice. Snap fit. You can hear it click. You can pick it up. Not very heavy bottle. And bottom you get the star very very eye catching juice color is very rich okay opulent juice color and I believe uh, there is yes there is the corner they have the sticker and stuff like that so this perfume is very hard to find and uh, the prices are around like 70 80 dollars for 30 ml it's not cheap so this perfume when I sprayed for the first time uh, this smells a lot a lot like angel and angel muse if you see my reviews more like angel muse because the sweetness is really there it's it's almost uh identical to the opening of angel okay 
but it's not gonna stay like that forever it's gonna change that's where the leather will take uh, take uh, take over in the dry down but initially what you get from this is just the sweet caramel and then let me read the notes it's too many notes it's like so many notes I can remember uh, they have uh, let me read it um, they have uh, oh, oh, oh. okay they didn't put it on really they have to read it from the pictures okay uh, they have melon coconut i'm gonna read from the notes because the images sometimes i remember some of them some of them i do not but i'll tell you so winter melon uh, coconut leather uh, tangerine or orange uh, cassis uh, i think neroli uh, raspberry bergamot those are the opening top notes yes sweet and heavy and then they have uh, iris peach leather honey yes one of the big uh, star of this fragrance is honey black currant you know like i think there is a peach again apricot uh what some juni all the notes i cannot re remember but yeah there's the rose there's tonka there is amber patchouli again leather the base um vanilla caramel chocolate and musk so tons of notes guys you know you cannot remember all of them but it's a fruity uh, that coconut you can detect as well uh, this fragrance, I think it's solely for cold weather, just like Angel. People say, I have heard ladies say, this very wearable version of Angel. I would not disagree, but I think it's not far off. It's very challenging still. It's not a perfume we can pull off every day casually. If it's really high heat and stuff, do not pull it off. It's a leather. It will come off late, later <coughs> very big. Not animalic, but it's going to be really overpowering. So I do love Angel Muse a lot because that is much more modernized version of angel but this one right here it's a fragrance i believe is pretty unisex okay if you do like pure malt there's elements of pure malt in this one if you do like pure malt as a guy you can definitely wear it it's a pretty unisex fragrance to my nose just like angel many men wear angel because it's better than in my humble opinion amen because amen is really masculine you know it's like very much dark with the tar and all that so the comparison wise for the men's side i think this is also more daring the men's um, leather yeah it's a lot more uh, like a brown leather kind of smell animalic and dark not everybody can pull this off but if you like your fragrances sweet this is where this fragrance will really work like a charm really love this perfume i mean like it's so beautiful but uh, after one hour or so it starts changing the leather i do not detect at first i get more of those syrupy sweet honey quality and uh, more fruitiness you know like vanilla coconut all those gourmand stuff the dry down that leather will be like popping up slowly ever so slightly with that tonka and it makes it really mouth-watering and i really love this perfume the bottles collection worthy these are some of the bottles do not get so many reviews i guess okay i really love this uh, longevity is not as much as angel in my humble opinion on my from my wearings but i think this fragrance will look really just fine you know if you're going for theater dinner everywhere seven to eight hours easy from this uh, on your skin on the clothes it will last perhaps 10 hours plus beautiful creation i mean just like appreciate the beauty of the bottle really beautiful overall the bottle design and the box you guys know these are like 10 for a presentation for mugle you're just paying for a presentation half of the price and now they are getting discontinued or hard to find you have to pay a little bit more premium so is it a must have i think if you have angel if you have angel muse and you have like some of this other uh, Mugler collection, like Omenetion, if you're a very big fan of that, this can be a part of your collection. But if you just want to own one Angel, and if you already have Angel Muse or Angel, you do not need this. So the leather version is not the main, uh, leather is not the main player. Still got that main DNA of Angel, the sweetness. That's what is the main, uh, like, heart of this perfume. But it's a little bit different enough on the dry down. So it's not a must have, in my humble opinion. Not, I wouldn't pay $100 for 30 ml. Okay, if you get it for $55, $65, you can buy it. Good buy for that price. And for the bottle, you can carry it in the purse. Okay, so that's the best part. Overall, this perfume, how much I like it? 10 for the bottle. Smell, I'll give it 9. Longevity, I'll give it 8.5. Overall, if you take a score, uh, let's just give it like 8.5. Overall, uh, versatility is not that good. So 8.5 out of 10 for me, the perfume itself. But if you talk about collectible sentiments and stuff, you know, they can put price tag on your sentiments. So, well, 8.5 being a honest uh, rating for the smell itself. Thank you, Avik Bhai, for your beautiful bottle. I'm glad I could review this and um, experience it. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. 
I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.